Welcome back to eSIM Studios. Did you know Google recently installed an application without your permission behind your back that is scanning all of the photos you send and receive on your device? Did you know that? Sounds crazy, right? Well, we are about to explore what that app is and how to disable its functions and or remove it completely from your device. Let's go. So Google secretly is installing an application on every single Android device, a smartphone, tablet, doesn't matter, that can scan all the photos you send and receive on that device. You can actually stop this from happening with a single tap and that is exactly what we are about to do today. So the Android System Safety Core application. Most of you probably are not aware of what this application is or what it does. Google announced plans for an app like this a few months ago, but we are now seeing more and more people talking about how this was installed without their permission. The Android System Safety Core application is described in detail in this About section of the Google Play Store listing. The official listing says, and I quote, Safety Core is a Google system service for Android 9 and higher devices. It provides the underlying technology for features like the upcoming sensitive content warnings feature in the Google Messages that helps users protect themselves when receiving potentially unwanted content. While Safety Core started rolling out last year, the sensitive content warnings feature in Google Messages is a separate optional feature that will begin its gradual rollout in 2025. The processing for the sensitive content warnings feature is done on device and all of the images or specific results and warnings are private to the user." Unquote. So from a user's perspective, this application is gonna seem like malware, right? Because Google didn't send any prompts to inform the user it was gonna be installed. Uh, I don't even think it, there was a press release, right? Made public about this. I could be wrong, but I don't, I don't remember one. Some are saying online that their firmware protection even alerted them of this mysterious app that was just installed without their permission, without their knowledge. And it's had people panicking about if their phone has been hacked. So what is Android System Safety Core? Well, Google wants to provide an application that can automatically scan every photo that has been sent to your smartphone or tablet. The scanning is done entirely on device so your images aren't being sent to the cloud or somewhere else, so they say. Google says the idea is to use this application to catch up to unwanted explicit messages that are sent and blocked by giving a warning message to the end user uh, about the message that was sent, allowing the user on the receiving end to decide if they want to view the photo or not. You can see how something like this can be helpful to those who are getting harassed, right? Young children, women who have started to receive unwanted messages from weirdos, from creeps. Uh, with that said, there are going to be some people, like myself, who do not want this type of protection on their phone. Someone like me that does not want a surprise application scanning every photo. Even if I'm not doing anything, anything wrong, anything illegal, uh, uh, even if it's being installed on my device in good faith, I, like many of you watching this full video, uh, want complete control of my devices. Even with the good intentions, I think most of us believe the way Google uh, uh, went about this is just plain wrong. Uh, maybe it could have been done better by making this optional instead of sliding it in on your device unannounced and undetected. Instead, this app is being installed on hundreds of millions, if not billions of devices around the world, and users are not being made aware of this or of anything, right? So how to stop Android from scanning all your images? With how sneaky Google is being with this new application, uh, at least there is a way to easily stop it from peeking on your images, even if you have nothing to hide. You can do this. First, by launching the settings application, finding the apps section and select it. 
Then you need to access all of the apps on device system apps because this was a system installed application. Select the three dot menu icon in the top right corner and then select show system apps option uh, so that every app installed on your phone and or tablet will appear. Now scroll down until you see the Android system safety core or you can search for the app simply by selecting the search bar and typing in Android system safety core. Now, once you locate the amp on the list, select it. Then you got two options from there. You can either disable the app or uninstall the app. This option is purely up to, up to you, right? Disabling it will leave the app on, on your device and basically it does nothing while it's still installed. If you choose to uninstall the app, it will completely remove the snooping application from your device. I completely understand why Google created this app. Uh, I just feel they went the wrong way about it. Installing it on each and every Android, devo uh, Android device, phone or tablet around the world uh, that is running Android 9 or higher, at the very least, a more widely a more widely dispersed press release should have been pushed to all online publications or a notification should have appeared on our devices telling us the user what exactly this application is for and explaining it in full detail. By not doing so, Google has caused millions of people, some to panic, uh, some to at least, at the very least, huh, what the hell is going on here? Finding out in the worst way, this strange app on their phones without any uh, explanation, right? At least you know now and how to remove it and or disable it if you choose to do so. Hit me up in the comments. How do you feel about the company's secret installing of this application on your device? You got any questions? Hit me up in the comments. I check them and respond to them each and every day. I'm not your typical YouTuber where at the very most, I'll just like your comment. No, I'll hit you up. We'll respond. We'll have a chat. I like to talk technology. So take care. And as always, I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.